Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fade to black in Final Cut Pro. Now this shouldn't be an issue un unless you're afraid of the dark. Mommy. Now I'm gonna share with you the different ways to fade to black in Final Cut Pro. We'll look at keyframes and opacity, making those adjustments there, then we'll go on over to transitions to do the same effect in a snap. And then finally, we'll look at how to fade from color to black and white. Let's go check that out. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro and we're gonna take a look at fading to black. So the first one I'm gonna show you is keyframes. So as you can see, as it plays along, this video clip just ends. If we ended a project there, it's just gonna go to black at the end and just end on that last frame. But we want that to fade to black. So let's move the playhead over a little bit. We're going to come up to the inspector, make sure video inspector is selected. Then we'll click a keyframe on the opacity. So add that keyframe there, slide this playhead back to the end. So we're going to click the arrow left key in order to bring it in one frame from the end. And let's go back to opacity again. And here we are going to drag this down to zero which makes it black. So we've got that black screen there. We can go back to the other keyframe using this little keyframe button. And let's see what, what effect we got. A nice slow fade to black. That looks fantastic. Now let's go to the beginning of the clip and let's do the same thing. So we'll go to the first frame. We're gonna click the opacity keyframe there. Drag it forward a little bit. Hit it again. Then uh, let's go back to that original keyframe and we're gonna drop this down to zero. And then let's watch that play out. Very nice, so we faded in from black. Now let's say we're watching that and we're like, okay, it's too slow, too fast. We wanna make some adjustments. Let's right click on that. Show video animation. See, the other way to get there is with control V. So that'll bring that video animation screen in and out. And then down here, you can see under compositing opacity, we've got these little keyframe spots here. Now this will adjust these keyframes uh, so that we can either speed up that fade or slow down that fade. So the farther we pull that keyframe away from the edge, away from the end or beginning of the clip, the longer that fade is gonna go. I think coming in would be fine to do it just a little bit faster and then going out a little bit slower. All right, now if you're wanting a faster solution than that, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna click on transitions and we're gonna find this cross dissolve transition. We're just gonna drag this in, drop this in and let's watch that, see? Okay, that's a slower transition than we were working with earlier. What we can do is we can make a few adjustments. We can click on that transition and drag this out. So let's bring it out to about ten, two seconds and you can see that just like we did with the keyframes, it's doing the same sort of thing. It's dragging out that transition, making it a little, a little longer. So for a few more options, what we can do is we can click on the transition and that's gonna bring up the transition inspector. So in here we can try some different looks, a lot of people like the video or film look, which just does some subtle differences. Uh, we can also take a look at, you know, adding a little bit of warmth to it. Very nice, but you can mess around with those and find what works best for your project. You can also change the amount of the cross dissolve and the easing in and out. You can change a lot of these settings. A lot of that will do is just change where and when uh, that fade to black starts, begins, how quickly it moves along. Then we also have the audio crossfade tool. So you can check our channel. We've also covered this uh, audio crossfade uh, before under blend and fade audio. Uh, but what we're gonna do here, we can take a look and see if we wanna keep it on an S curve or change it to linear or plus and, and minus three dB. Uh, just changes the blend of the two, uh, how the two clips crossfade their audio. Best thing to do is just leave it on S-curve, so that's what we're gonna do today. We can also drag this to this clip here, but what's gonna happen here is, while the cross dissolve worked pretty good for the end, 
it's not working as great for the middle. All right, so we're gonna look up another transition called fade to color. And there it is. Let's drag that right on top. So you can replace and drag on a, a transition right on top of another transition, it overwrites it. So what we can do is take a look at this and so it's pretty quick. You may want that to last a little longer, so we can drag that out. Play that again. Nice. Now there's a few more uh, tools that we can take a look at here in the transition inspector. We can change the midpoint where we want that the, the center of the black area to be. Uh, we can also change how long we want it to hold. So if we want it to hold a little longer, it'll fade to black quicker and stay black longer. So in that black space, what you can do is throw in a title, throw in an audio uh, a point, like whether it's a sound effect or a, a dramatic part of the narration. So if you, let's say you have, uh, like for your brand, maybe you have a color that's, you know, teal, and you want it to fade to your brand color. You can also do that too with this transition. If we extended these clips or shortened these clips, it would give us more space to create a transition. But let's say you don't have that in your project and you need a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this clip. We are going to press Option W. And what that's gonna do is going to insert a gap. That's what these little gray boxes are. So we've got this gap here. You can adjust this just like any other clip. And then we can throw in the fade or even the cross dissolve if we prefer that. And we can drag this out, create a uh, more of a gap here so that as it fades to black, it stays even longer to allow for a title, to allow for something else to happen in the meantime. Hey, if you've been in the dark with Final Cut Pro, just know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. We release new videos like this all the time to help you with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. Okay, so now we're gonna get a little loony with this next one. We're gonna bring in the circle transition. And what this does is, <laughs> so that's not what we want. We want to have this fade out. So we're gonna choose the direction. We're gonna tell it to close. And what that's gonna do is this. Just feels like a, kind of more of a Looney Tunes style. Now I'm gonna move this uh, dancer over and we're gonna bring this in and I'm gonna show you a little trick you can do with this. Let's change this back to close. And what we want that to have happen is at the end of this circle, we wanna have it focused on his face. So let's play that back. Nice, let's drag that out a little bit. And the other things we can do with this is change the edge. Like if we wanted the edge to be sharper, if we wanted it to be even more of like a, um, let's see the options we've got here. We can do a noir look, we can do an actual color. So this is also great if you have a brand. Again, let's go back to teal. And that creates a very fun look. Um, and this could also help with some transition. Like if you're having some brand footage or, you know, uh, maybe uh, you're advertising these headphones and you want something that kind of has some pop, some fun, some flair. You can add some color into this and uh, have some really fun transitions that can move from clip to clip or just fade to black. Now let's say you want to fade from color to black and white. Let's take a look at that. We're going to drop in some keyframes here, but we're going to find those under the color inspector. So under the color inspector, we are going to add a color board. We're going to click a keyframe here, right where we want that change, that transition to start. Then we're going to drag the playhead over to where we want that to be fully changed, transformed, faded to black and white. Click another keyframe there. Then we're going to come here to the saturation and bring this global dial all the way down. And look at that, we got that black and white. Now let's go back a bit to the color, play that. And you see you got that slow fade to black and white. And you can go back to that keyframe. You can make even more adjustments. Let's say you want to adjust the exposure. You can bring some of that in. Just kind of change that look and style you're looking for. Got a lot of control at your fingertips. 
There's also a different way we can do this. What we're, what we're gonna do here is use some transitions. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go ahead and cut this clip. So we can hit B and then clip right there. All right, so a little shortcut to be able to get right back to the pointer tool is you can hold B, click, let the B key go, and you're back to your normal pointer. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a transition. Let's find our cross dissolve again, drag that over. And then this second part of the clip is gonna be where the color changes happened. Let's go to the effects. We're gonna click on the effects browser. We're gonna scroll down to color. And just like we did before, black and white. And boom, we achieved the same effect. We covered fading to black as well as fading to black and white. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Woo! Glad to have the lights back on. Now that you've learned how to fade to black in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to flip footage in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.